G'day friends, it's Vicky Wright, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator Australia. Um, as I mentioned in our group, I was going to do a video um, using a sketch and I was going to show you three ways of using that sketch. So this is actually a sketch that I've pulled out from my um, book that I keep all my sketches in, um, the ones that I like, my sketch layouts, and I've gone back to this one that I've used, well as you can see, 2018, 2020 in colour, so it's a pretty old sketch. Um, so I thought we'd have a play and we'd do this um, layout. Now, as I'm featuring the what's it called, the oceans, waves of the ocean suite collection this week on my blog, I thought we'd play with that. So what we're gonna use is the gorgeous new papers. So these are our, I'll just pull out a couple of sheets. They're very bright, but they're, they're just beautiful. So that's one side. And that's the other side. Um, that's one side. And that's the other side. I think you get about three or four sheets. I think it's about four designs and maybe three or four um, sheets of the same paper. And that's that. And then we have that one. And that one, that's that, so that's, then it's that one, and that one. It even looks like mountains, that too. Okay, so we're using those papers for our card today. And I'm also going to use a little bit of the um, blue foil sheets that match this collection. So you get um, three different ones, which is the blue, probably close to coast. Can you see that? Coastal Cabana. Then the silvery white one. And then you get the navy one, mixture of navy and probably Pacific Point. Okay, so we're just going to use those two. So I'll do our card first and then I'll show you the other two that I've done using the same sketch layout. Now, actually, as I was cutting up my kit, an idea sprung into my head, so we're going to have a go at that as well. So we might get four cards, depending whether or not it works out. So we'll just leave our sketch here, so that we can copy it. I'll bring in my kit, all my little pieces. And we're going to play with this paper here. And... A bit of the navy Pacific Point foil okay so what we're going to do first is stick this piece to a layer of basic white Just like that. Then we're going to glue that down onto our foil. Now I'm using the old um, snail to glue this down. I can't find my stamp and seal. But that's all right. And then what we're going to do 
is put that like that. Then I've grabbed another piece of the same colour and we're just going to put that across there like that. It's a little bit dirty but we're not going to see that. And I'll use glue on this. Just about there, I think. Making sure it's nice and straight. And I'm just going to get my scissors and chop that down. Just like that. So that's that. So that's that strip there going across here. Except this time, I've made it all the way across. Okay. Then what we're going to do put this piece onto our base card. Now I wanted to pick up the little bit of green in the base card so I went for the Granny Apple Green which is what the colour in this paper anyhow. So that's our basically our base card. Okay, so we in this one we are sort of gonna follow the sketch um, but I'm changing these shapes a little bit. Okie dokie. So we'll just put that aside. Now I've already pre-cut um, three stitched rectangles using the stitched rectangle dies so just like that and then what I'm going to do is grab our matching stamp set which is the waves of inspiration that's it there and we're going to use the pelican now I'm a lover of pelicans so this set suits me perfectly and I actually bought it for the pelican and the wave. I love my waves. Gotta love your waves when you love your body surfing. Okay, so we're gonna grab our pelican and I think we may do this in soft suede. So let's try that and see how we go. Okay, so we're just going to tap, tap, tap. And I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. Now you may not get all your image. Well, you won't get all your image on the size that I've cut. But that's, oh, and I've ruined it already. Cut another one, we'll see how we go. That's better. So that's one. Now, if you wanted to, you could also use um, Knight of Navy, Pacific Point, Knight of, what to say? Yep, yeah, if you wanted to, but. I'm just going to, just bear with me, um, stitched rectangles. So I'm going to cut another one and these are the stitched rectangles, okay? And I have used This size here. Yep, that size. I don't know what it is. That's my stitch rectangles. They're a bit messy, but I know what's missing and what's not there or what's there. And just bear with me. I would do this on the table, but 
my tables will sometimes rock our phone and rock the table so or the big I mean the the emboss machine cutting and emboss machine will rock my table so what I'm going to do without stamping too hard again inking too hard we're just going to do this again just like that now it won't matter if your pelicans or your image is stamped at different heights okay that gives it a little bit of a unique look and all we're going to do is put some dimensionals on the back just like that bring in our base card And we're just going to pop them down. Just like this. So I always um, position mine first so that I know where I want it before I stick them down. So we'll do our middle one first. Just like that and we'll do the outside ones and our last one making sure they're all nice and even and that looks pretty even to me Just like that. They probably would look nice in the blue too, but that's okay. We can handle this. Then I'm going, now I've pre-cut um, a stitched wrangle, rectangle shape again using the stitched, sorry, using the stitched rectangle dies. And we're going to use um, Pacific Point, I think. And we're going to make it a happy birthday. So I'm going to use this one. Okay. Now I'm sorry if I sound a bit hoarse. But I've woken up with a bit of a um, sore throat this morning. And that looks pretty good to me. So I'll just bring this down here. And hope oh look at that that'll do me then what we're gonna do is pop this up on a dimensional again Taking off the sticky lids. Like that. And we're going to put this just down here, about there. And that looks pretty straight to me. So that is our first card, okay? And that's using that sketch layout there. Alright, so I've done that pretty close to it. All right. Now you could make your background anything any way you like. Um, you could emboss your background. You could use different images, different shapes. It's up to you. Okie dokie. And then of course I just did my inside with a scrap of cardstock, and I'm uh, not cardstock paper. And of course the same with my envelope because you've got to have it matchy matchy. Okay. So now. That is an, our first one. So as I mentioned, when I was cutting it, the kit up, 
an idea sprung to mind. So I'm not sure whether it will work, but let's give it a burl. Okay, so we're going to grab a piece of basic white. Now, I want to use... I want to use the lay the waves as my strip that goes across the middle. But in saying that, the image is quite big. So what I thought we might do is try and mask that top bit off. And we'll just have this bottom bit. Okie dokie. So let's have a go at that. So I'll bring in our sticky tape. Bring it around this way. And I'm just going to mask that off like that. And I think we might go for um, Coastal Cabana. Eh? So let's try that. We can only have a go. And if we muck it up, or if I muck it up, there's nothing lost. So all I'm doing is lightly inking the image. Take off our sticky tape and put it straight into the bin. Otherwise, if you're like me, you'll put something on top of it. Then I'm going to position this where I want it. So I'll position it about here, making sure it's nice and straight and pressing down. I've got a little bit up the top, which means my image wasn't clean. So, let's clean this. So, obviously, the idea is there. I'm just going to clean this image again. Um... I'm just making sure it's nice and dry. So what we're going to do Mask that off again. Just with our sticky tape. Just like that. You could use uh, strap paper if you wanted to, but I just find the sticky tape a lot easier. Or if you have masking tape, you could do that too if you want to use that. But I'm happy with my sticky tape. Bring in our ink again. Ink this up. Fingers crossed that it's dry enough. Remove our mask. Throw that in the bin. Grab our piece of cardstock. So I'm just going to flip this open and hope over. And 
end end about there, I think. That's better. A little bit, but we might cover that up. I could have brought it down a little bit, but that's okay. Then we're going to, oops, bring in our snail. this onto a piece of the blue, the light blue foil. And then we're going to glue this down to our base card, which I'm using um, the thick basic white. So this card is lots of white, which can sometimes look quite smart. So we've done that. Then what we're going to do is I've got a piece of cardstock. It's about three inches long by about one inch. Or what's that? 7.6 by 2.5 centimetres. We're going to grab our wave image again. Uh, so I don't know how this is going to work, but let's have a go. We're going to stamp it up, sorry, ink it up, just like that. I'll just make sure all that's in there inked. Close this up. Wipe my fingers so I don't get ink everywhere. And what I'm going to do is try this wave over the top of that small piece of basic white. I'm going to chop that off, I think. No, I've got another piece. Exactly for that reason, in case it didn't work. Be prepared. Okay, so I'm going to ink that up again. Remembering that there's a small edge on it. Now I haven't stuck the sticker on top of it, but that's okay. So let's try this again. That's better. And what we're going to do is grab our trimmer. Oops, sorry. And as I said, this was three inches by one inch, um, one three by one. So what we're going to do is chop this into one inch squares. Okay, so that'll give us three even squares. Sorry if the phone, the camera is wobbling. Okie dokie, so we've done that. Then we're going to put dimensionals on the back of these so this one is really keeping in line with our layout with the squares okie dokie then what I'm going to do before I put it down I want to make sure that the image is lined up. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to move that there. We're going to bring our base card in. And again, starting off with the middle one. Just 
just like that. Maybe we could have had um, a darker colour underneath, but that's okay. one here so you're still matching your image up okay there you are and that looks a bit crooked but that's better okay so then that is our three squares then we're going to add our sentiment now here's the scary part I don't want to muck it up I'm going to bring in Pacific Point and this square is actually going to bug me. If I don't fix it. That's better. Now, as I said, this is the scary part. I could have used my Stamparatus, but let's see how we go. Oh. I'll just bring this down a little bit. Just bear with me. Fingers crossed. Got a mark there, but that's all right. I'm going to cover that up. It's pretty straight. Then what we're going to do is bring in our matching wave rhinestones. Again, pretty, pretty. And we are going to grab our duvet dacca. And I might bring in a colour. You know what? I'm going to put that there too. Just like that. Just looks like a wave going around there, I think. Probably looks a bit silly, but that's all right. Then what we're going to do is bring in our piece of cardstock again. Ink our wave image once again. this to the inside of our card if you wanted to you could layer a colored piece behind that white but I don't mind white on white then we're going to bring in our envelope Ink our image once again. Just like that. And that is our envelope. And that is our piece of card. I mean our base, our card we've just created. So I don't mind that look. I think next time I would make that probably Pacific Point or another colour instead of having tone on tone but in saying that I like that so that's number two okay our number one is that one so again it's all using the same layout so that's one two now these are the other ones I've done that I thought I'd show you if I can find it. Here it is. So this time I've gone landscape. 
that's number three. And those three are all using the same stamp set and papers. And then I did another one, totally different, using the um, bows and boughs and blossoms, I think it is. Yeah, stamp set. And that's that one. So that's got the three different shapes, but again, still using that layout. Okay, so that's one, two, three, and four. So if you'd use your, um, if you create something like that using the wave as a mask, please share with us in our group. Um, so there you go. Now I'm going to have a tutorial for you um, in our group so that you have all the measurements. Okie dokie and thanks for watching. See ya. Hooray.